All right, good morning, and welcome to a cold, crispy morning in uh, in Revelstoke. It feels early, it's dark. Um, it's about minus 14 right now, seven degrees Fahrenheit, more or less for, uh, for you Fahrenheit folk, but today is one of my favorite days of the year. Um, we're finishing up our annual recurrent training on the machines, um, so we go out and uh, today's the day that we're going to do basically all of our emergency training uh, on the helicopters and kind of finish up um, that part of, of training that we get to do. For the time being, we got to strip these covers off and, uh, and get the machine ready. We're just tracking down the hoses for the old Herman Nelson. Any luck? Oh yeah. Somebody very efficient put those away and it was not me. Like, these things should not take up that little roof. Okay, these are the hoses that go under the Herman Nelson, which is our big diesel heater. It pumps hot air into the engine cowl and heats up the, uh, the engine, and just makes it easier on a morning like today to start this, uh, this beast up. Basically, that thing sucks in air runs it through a uh, heating coil, but we'll pop those under the uh, engine and transmission cowls and it'll just preheat the machine. And about an hour here, we'll, uh, we'll strip the covers off and, uh, and go flying. We do have to DI it still, so daily inspect it. That's the beauty of being outside on on cold days like today. But uh, yeah, no problem. Alrighty, that's pretty much it. We'll uh, just kind of wait for the heat to make its way into the oils. We'll definitely brush off. Um, there's all this kind of hoarfrost on here, which we'll give it a quick brush. But other than that, we just have to uh, wait for the training pilot to show up and we're good to go. So the covers are coming off here, we're just getting fuel. We'll jump into the machine. We're gonna slowly cruise up to the airport here and that's kind of where we're gonna do a lot of our emergency training. So off we go. Alrighty. Okay, throttle is full open in the gate. Horn's coming on. And Rosso traffic is safe. Star Fox Trot Bravo Lima Whiskey. We're running the Glacier Hangar. We'll be uh, lifting departing out to the east uh, to the uh, field next complex. It's Bravo Lima Whiskey. Okay. So, temperatures. Oh, we got some engine oil temperature coming up there now. Uh, no, Chris, just coming off the uh, north side into the highway quarter. Okay, sounds good. Okay, temperature pressures look good, we're about 58% uh, in the hover. And also traffic, probably whiskey just coming airborne off the glacier hangar uh, for the field next. So what, you what are you going to do with that? Okay, so we're going to slow down. All right. 40 to 60. Okay. And once we get 40 to 60, we're going to isolate. Okay. Okay, there's... 60, isolate. All right. All right, trouble heavy. And so we're just gonna find a nice shallow, uh, shallow descent into the runway here. Sounds good. Travel the traffic, probably most of final uh, one, two. Okay, we're lined up. We'll go for the nice kind of clear patch of runway there in front of us. All right. Let's go for another little circuit. Sounds good. Okay, no warning lights, cheese and peas are in the green, and we're coming up. And we're traffic. 
traveling with you in a uh, right hand circuit, one, two. That was a traffic circuit, DA star just over the fingers on McPherson, only heading westbound up the big tree. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, Alright, alright, cover, and just count three. Ready? One, two, three. So, again, a little smooth on the cycle because you did this right at the end, that's why you kind of went like that. Okay, so let's go for a second, we'll come back with an auto over here. Sounds good. And up the traffic, probably most is uh, departing. 3 0 left hand circuit. Alright, straight in auto, the one-two numbers, and there's no wind today, so the is going to change a little bit. Right? You bet. Okay, I don't know how well you can hear me on this thing, but there's a set of numbers on the runway here that tell the pilots which way they're going when they come in, and that says one, two right there. And when we do autos and engine failures, you gotta have something to shoot for, and that's where Eric is headed, supposedly. Can you make it? Yeah. All right. We're going to extend it a little bit here. Dragging it down. Okay, drop that collection. Get that RPM still something. Bubble. A little early on the uh, pole. Yeah, a little early on the pole. Let's go around again. Okay. Nothing like doing it though. Nope. Okay, we'll get that turn out of the way. Yeah, not too early because you've got no wind to help you here. Or, uh, yeah, so you don't have to. Okay, hey, collect them up a bit now. So now you're too tight, right? Let's yes. see the wind from yesterday's big pain. Yeah, yeah. Hit it all. the traffic, probably much he's on for your left hand ticket.
All right, head her back. Crazy. Yep. And Rebels of Traffic, A Star Bravo Lima Whiskey's about uh, three to the south of the field, 3,500 feet down. We're northwest, westbound for the Glacier Hangar next complex. Bravo Lima Whiskey, Rebel Soak. All right, hello. So in kind of the busyness of what ended up being the end of our uh, training day there, I never never ended up filming a little um, thanks for watching and an outro sequence here. But uh, so here I am joining you from about 10,000 feet over, uh, over the Rockies in Alberta. I'm actually over uh, Boom Lake right now, just outside of... Um, outside of BAMP, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that footage turned out absolutely insane, so thanks to Daryl for uh, for putting up with a bit of cold and, and grabbing that footage for uh, for me and, and us to watch. Uh, it was pretty awesome. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We'll uh, see you guys in the next one, and uh, we'll talk soon.